Zappled. Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Uh -huh. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. Mm. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Hello. Uh, yo, I'm at the point pieces, Mr. Nobody. Die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? You're either somebody, or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't hmm. let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. Alright, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hmm. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned. But I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Toisa toisa tätä varmaan tarjoaa. Ja testivat loikaa kyllä muillekin tehtävän. Ei pelkästään korporea raatin taustanomaan. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. Uh huh. But we'll get to that. Uh huh. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. He and Homo. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. Tide will meet him by this out. Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Mm -hmm. Second, to rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. And the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yeah. Your studio will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person. And Jaggy's only good at some yeah. things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shot. Guitar on the level to I got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Uh huh. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. If we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single use toy. Yeah. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gang mate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plane dropped his ass. Uh huh. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstorm, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Corpo agent, what's your plan? <laughs> Corpo. Hell if I know. It's getting around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport. Got stood up. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Uh huh. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. She needs to find the stolen gear before her bosses learn she fucked up. Well, Mr. V, that is some impressive deduction. 
Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Mm. One more thing, Mr. B. No. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Ain't no life. Later now. Well, I need to on it. Feel it, I. Jackster, talk to Dex. Yeah, <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. I want to check our pro cred, but to me it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Frick, hostile mm. takeover. <laughs> that sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. Nick, you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack, something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. Mm. See what she's like, what she's after. What I live. In that case. Mun auto on taas tiellä. Lisien baari. Huoneja muistaja siitä. Looking a little put out there, input. Mm. Input on poika ystävä siis. Now my first time. Don't remember you. Cause I didn't get in through the front. Ha, <laughs> get a load of this one. Right. The rules are simple. Someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no cop and feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Well, what? Alicia, Alicia oli moksessa. How are 
you. siltä mitä se voisi olla. Samat tyypit ne virtuaalitodellisuus. Here's what I want. You and your girlfriend were in high heels. What a sublime little face you have. Big gigs. No problem. You buying or renting? It's my dad's bunk. How much? Relax. It'll go on your tab. Think I got just the thing for you too. My, what a sweet little face you have. Hey. Get you something. So, curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Hmm. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Hmm. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot all in all. Ah, stories of the golden days. Inevitable demise and the inevitable drink over sweet memories. All what makes the tall tales easier to swallow. So what went wrong? Tiger Claws shot up Lizzie. Uh-huh. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls. <laughs> okay. Off. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. The big boss now is Susie Q. The sign stayed up, out of respect. Biz booms to this day. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. Just to be at it. We are at home. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Since on, only tequila I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Uh, the history, or why? Either that, or it was just a lucky guess. Shut that up. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing. This place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on, no place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the Tää lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. This one's me and Candice. Nothing's wrong. Really? F. Why don't you just tell me the truth? It's fun. I just told you. You on the other side, baby.
Nyt teistä tulee oikein filmnoire kuva. <laughs> ja. Oh. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, Ehkä. and trustworthy. Ah. I hope he wasn't overselling. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew on my back too. Never once botched a job. You do uh, realize I expect it? more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. <coughs> <The job's hiring. coughs> By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Curious. Shit, buzz Dex right now if you're getting cold feet. I can wait. I doubt he'd add anything I haven't already heard. Anything I'd really like to hear for that matter. Hmm. There's only one other bunch that's worse than fixers in that respect. <laughs> Used car yeah. salesmen. Fixery me. I'll go with my gut for now. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. <laughs> Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. Mm. But me... We think that one hour, yeah. This one. You the chip reading. is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Ensimmäinen versio 2012. Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Compeki in Tokyo still leagues above the rest. Two are identical to each other. Japan staff, huh? The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. <laughs> all the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Mm. Yorinobu Arasaka. <sighs> In Night Not City. <laughs> I guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. Huh. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? No Empire was prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? Doubt it. Only a handful <laughs> of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? The meat can help. So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Mm -hmm. Saburo's had Yori's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Even well, so, it's still Yorinobu fucking Arasaka. Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Hmm. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Hmm. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Nope, don't buy it. Now watch his integrity rests on their neutrality. Why would they tarnish their rep by procuring stolen goods? 
Netwatch provides net security for all corporations and collects eddies in the millions for it. Yo. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game. And no one can afford to be a saint. To win. Netwatch on periaatteessa vähän niinku Google. Cyberpunkin maailmassa. So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Hmm. Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. Mm. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Heard a bit about your Nobu. Mm. Study finance and biotech in Tokyo. Probably to please his father. Mm -hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. Mutta. But then your Nobu cut himself off from the corp. Join the Steel Dragons, nomads from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup, or its downfall. Arasaka oli jakaantunut kolmeen osapuoleen tässä vaiheessa. That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. Mm -hmm. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. Todennäköisesti. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Okay. What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits. Yeah. Jacking off to in those like boxes. Yeah. No. Yeah. They can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. Uh -huh. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why you object? No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Judy'll help. She's a mox too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. Mm. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances. 
Mm-hmm. Analyzers, sensor SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. All right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So? We drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about a V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What do you mean by raw? How does this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced in, and manageable. Mm -hmm. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Profile now? The model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. Keep up. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue environment. Uh -huh. Mm hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. Yeah, no homo. We're not about to let that happen. Nah. -uh. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm hmm Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn to me. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking's business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander. So it's grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So I can't complain. One more sec. To get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay, all set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we? <sighs> Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks. Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly though. You ready? Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay. 
Okay, on you go. Down, everybody! On the ground! What I see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! <laughs> Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That flash of intense shock. I can still feel it. I remember. Fuck that last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, <laughs> real death hurts much, much more. No, I'm not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. No, no. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control and analysis mode. So move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Can I, can I? Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Okay. You can also reset the recording. Uh -huh. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing. Odd. Don't get creative. You go in, Mr. Cash, get out. And we sell the pizza like free. Got it, got it. And re remember, every thing for the last. They'll spot an egg, start for a wicked adrenaline, then hide. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Heads up, in analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Fuck! On you ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. I'll take the 
Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. <laughs> Hello nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gong at the counter. We have with you today are two flavors. Everybody! On the ground! I wanna see you kissing the flooring! Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. Alright, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Interaktiivinen tää aika on. See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Hmm, mielenkiintoista rikostutkintaa. Yeah, it's impressive, right? Too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Relax, Judy. Everything will be fine. You don't quite grasp the risks I took by letting you in here What I'm risking poking around with this stuff. We're all taking risks here. That's the job. So either T-Bug patches in or I'm on my way out. Judy, please. Fine. Call her. Let's get this over with. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Kunpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Kunpeki? Oh, I thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, I need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. All right, V. I 
eyes open. Gotta find out where Yorinobu's keeping the relic. You look like a cut. Yeah, Madame Smasher. Evelyn, she... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. That was what I gave you, dude. No, they'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to listen in on that conversation. V could be something important. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling servers gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old greybeard who thinks nothing will mm. change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble i should not even be listening to such things you will listen to this sakura is an adult despot utterly removed from reality stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists of a world that may never have existed we have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years i am quite sure we want now Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no, provide them. In a Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them.
I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see, certainly not. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father is a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will. change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble i should not even be listening to such things you will listen to this saburo is an adult despot utterly removed from reality stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists, of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation. with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Well, and last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I got an idea. Be right back. Manual details a special temp controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron.
No. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But uh... Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. Oh, Donna Geese. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. He thinks nothing will change, and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists, of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won't now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no provide right. them. Enough. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Hmm, it wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? Is it just... Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. I'm here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, uh, you'll like this. I 
se on oltu vai jossain tuossa matkalla? The heat sig matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here, guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Let's work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Put it on Ev's tab. Mm. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Hmm. <laughs> there. Relax, I got it all under control. Uh huh. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. You go that route, Fiddy will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Thanks, Judy. Really. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Me, Mr. Santa. V, one sec. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? I think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. Mm. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. Uh, so it's just about the sex. Biz. And biz only. You sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? You're not worried? Our sock will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? Mm, my point. Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Kompeki. 
Winds are right. Plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Mm. Well, Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. You're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. Mm. So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. You want to fuck over our fixer? Mm. I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. Hmm. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that will cost you a rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure mm. you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Uh. Your choice. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Hmm. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Se on aika kova juttu tosiaan toi fixerin pettäminen. How things looking, Mr. V? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Turns out everyone's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead. Nothing yet. On it now. T Bug says no chance of that ship without that bot. To work then, Mr. V. Mm -hmm. 